Dave Geek here with Thomas Wetzel of Cosmos. Today we get a, a closer look at a new game that's not even out yet. It's called Adventure Games. Yes. And now, would you compare it to your Exit Series games, or are they totally different? I would compare that, but they are pretty different. Okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more, because I don't know anything about this. All right. Yeah. So. Um, the adventure games are similar to the exit games in that they have some riddles. Okay. And you work cooperatively I with like a group that. of yeah. uh, up to four people. Uh, but the difference is, and some people might think this is a big difference, this is very much a story driven game oh, okay. as opposed to just riddles. Okay, yeah. It's a big so difference. we get to like work through a story and yeah. figure out what happens at the end. Is there multiple endings possibly? There are. Oh! <laughs> There's multiple endings, which I think is great. Also, well, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but you'll see there's four characters here. Yeah. And uh, each of these characters is going to interact with different things differently. Oh, okay. So you might be, like, the hacker. Yeah, well, you're yeah, going to yeah. do much better yeah, at the computer computers. Or... Whereas if I'm, like, the, uh, oh, I think she's, like, a spy or some kind of, like, yeah. Anyway, she's, she's probably good at manipulating, like, the <laughs> night watchman, but not very good at working the computers. Got All it. of these things uh, are, are very like integrated into the game. It comes with a nice thick book. Nice. And As you use you... this book to like help uncover. Yeah. Like... So, and you have a deck of cards, it seems. Yeah. The the way that it works very uh, broadly is that uh, if I say say I'm the, the spy, and I want to visit the this portrait. Maybe I want to go check out the portrait. Yeah. There's a number next to the portrait. It says 101. 101. I open the book to entry 101 and read that. And read that. Sometimes that'll give you another thing. Like maybe you found something when you were looking at it. the picture, perhaps? Perhaps. Oh. <laughs> uh, also, you can then use what you get yeah. with other things and other locations. Uh -oh. So it's a really open system. Like you can do almost anything you can think of. Nice. And there's got an entry in the book for it. Well, that's really exciting. It's and very so, cool. Obviously, this isn't even in English, it's so new. Yeah. <laughs> so, when can us English speakers, readers, get an English copy? Uh, expectations right now are mid uh, September. Okay. To maybe it's end of far. September. It's coming up. No, uh, yeah, it's it's in the works. Like, we've oh, done cool. the play testing. I play tested this game. So, I played the so you know. an English version of it. Okay. And even though that was a play test session, like, my mind was just completely blown by how brilliant the system is. Like, I got done and I was just like, Amazing! Because oh. I've played, I played a few games. Yeah. And this I'd, one blew me away. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I think for any of us like small box adventure kind of games, it's, right, right. it sounds just like a perfect fit for. Yeah. I know I definitely want to go play this game like right now. <laughs> it's great. Also, uh, unlike the event, uh, exit the game. Yeah. Uh, this one you have uh, three play sessions in, each okay. of them up to about two hours. So, oh, okay. And you could potentially replay it if you wanted, although the storyline doesn't change. You could ending. try a different or a way. different path. Yeah, so a or lot different of play characters time. even. Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. So that's a long experience. That's like yeah. That's like six hours. And the MSRP is going to be 19.95. Wow, that's awesome. So that is so cool. So we get to look for that in September. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Thomas. Thanks, Steph. Yay! <laughs>